Hi folks, my name is Dan Knighton and I'm the general manager of the Audio Precision product line. Today I'd like to take a moment and show you how we can test a simple speaker here in less than five minutes starting from a brand new APX 517 acoustic audio analyzer all boxed up the way it would arrive if you'd order it. We'll put our speaker there for a moment. First, take out our little box of goodies. And then our brand new APX 517 analyzer. All right, let's see. We'll start out with our power cord. Get that plugged in. One of the things you'll notice as soon as I turn the 517 on is how quiet it is. This is the first APX analyzer to have thermostatically controlled fans. So actually in a typical office environment, it will be inaudible. I'll plug in my USB cable next. I'll get my grass half inch free field measurement microphone, BNC cable, and then this is our cable for testing a speaker. At one end we have a positively locking speak on connector. And we're actually using four conductors in this cable to measure the impedance of the loudspeaker using the so-called Kelvin measurement technique. This subtracts the resistance effects of the cable itself and inaccuracies caused by the less than ideal source impedance in a power amplifier. So we can get the absolutely most accurate measurement of loudspeaker impedance. I'll connect my measurement microphone and exactly a very simple setup after I unpack my analyzer. One cable going to the speaker, one cable going to the measurement microphone, a power cable back here, and a USB cable to our computer. I'll start up our software. While the software starts up, I'll just note a few things. This is an entirely calibrated system. So of course the APX audio analyzer itself comes from the factory with accredited calibration, but our grass measurement microphone does as well. And its calibration data is embedded in the microphone via the transducer electronic data sheet system. That will actually let us get up and going without even having to connect an acoustic calibrator. Now that I have the software going, I'll select power amplifier as my output. I'm using the A connector. On the input side, I'll select microphone as my input. I am just using one microphone. It's an unbalanced microphone. It does need CCP power, so I'll enable that now. And I'll go ahead and of course, just calibrate from TED. So I'll read the microphone's calibration data electronically, set my sensitivity, and now I can look at the signal coming back from our measurement microphone and DBSPL. I'll go ahead and test that everything's working by putting a small 100 millivolt signal through the speaker. So now I can see the output of the speaker is working and being picked up by my measurement microphone. I'll go ahead to our loudspeaker production test measurement. This will give us pretty much all the parameters we're interested in for this speaker. I'll sweep it from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz at 2.83 volts.
and I'll get the magnitude response of the speaker. If I'm interested in the relative response centered at one kilohertz, I have that available. The absolute phase response of the speaker, the THD, either as a ratio or the absolute level of the THD products. And I can look at individual harmonics, the rub and buzz, the impulse response of the speaker, the impedance magnitude or phase, some teal small parameters, the acquired waveform, and on. Basically, I can get all the parameters of this speaker starting with our analyzer in a box in under five minutes. And I just wanted to share that with everybody. Find out more at Vicom's website.